All right, so now that you have, uh, you've learned how to find clients and how to get your business going with freelance jobs, I'm going to cover some important things to consider and keep in mind related to freelancing. One of the most important aspects is once you get clients, it's very important that you meet deadlines. So you, whether it's deadlines you've set for yourself or for them, or if it's deadlines that they've set for you, it's very important that you meet those. So if they need them um, in, you know, in five days, and you need the articles or, or graphics or whatever it is, try, you know, and, and you tell them that 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 you're going to meet that deadline. Try to meet that deadline. Make sure you're trying to meet that deadline. Because what happens is that's something that's going to set you apart because there's so many freelancers out there that don't meet their deadlines and don't meet them on time. And it can be difficult when you are freelancing to do that. And so it's important to, to take note of you know being focused on your projects at hand. Uh, but it's so important to meet deadlines because as you meet deadlines, they're going to be like, wow, this is amazing. So they're going to come right back to you. And then also they're going to refer you to somebody else and then you'll get more business that way. So by just simply meeting deadlines, you can really maintain a good relationship with with the people you're doing work with and they will oftentimes come back to you or they will refer you to somebody else and so it's a great way to keep your business growing so meeting deadlines is a very important aspect of freelancing another important thing is to maintain open communication with your clients so what that means is you know whether it's you know through email or if it's through phone calls or even instant messaging or other social networking aspects like you know Twitter direct messages or or Facebook uh, po uh, post or something on on Facebook walls or Facebook emails um, there you know it's so important that you maintain open communication as you do your project so you know if you have an article project and it's day three or four send them a quick email hey just touch and base to let you know I'm at this point or maybe send them an email hey just you know sorry I um, wasn't able to get something done today I'm gonna work on it tomorrow or you know we're having a baby so we're not gonna be able to um, you know I'm not gonna be able to work on your project for the next few days um, I'm home I'm sick right now I, I'm really sick I can't work on your project things like that are really important you know because you're gonna find that that they're not gonna get upset if maybe there's a delay on the project you know like if for some reason you're not gonna meet a deadline and you let them know that they're not gonna get upset you know typically they're gonna just say okay great thanks for telling me but they would get upset if you didn't tell them so it's so important to maintain your open communication because that will set you apart again from the other freelancers it's one of those things you can use to set yourself apart from the other ones uh, the most important aspect probably very important aspect besides meeting deadlines and maintaining open communication is to stay focused and that means just to stay focused and on the efforts and the you know on the project at hand so if you're creating a mini site for somebody then once you start that you know focus your time focus okay the next 30 minutes I'm gonna devote to just this project so I can make some some headway on this project if it's an article writing task say okay I'm not gonna get up from my computer till I've written three of the ten articles for this client and then you know and then go back and go for another 30 45 minute chunk say I'm gonna write another three articles I'm gonna write another three articles the next day and if you just focus out your time so maybe you have a seven day project or a five day project and you decide to focus 30 minutes a day um, you know that would come to about two and a half hours of total you know focused work where you just focus on that and you'll find that you know you might get the project done ahead of schedule which would be great because the client would love it if you got the work done ahead of schedule and they will keep coming back to you for more work um, another important thing to do that that not a lot of freelancers do enough of is ask for testimonials once you're done with the work as long as you you know especially if you've met the deadline you maintain good communication and you know you just stayed focused on the project ask for testimonials you know ask them for testimonials about your service about your delivery time about um, you know whatever the case might be because that's invaluable because that's stuff you can put up on your website that stuff you can send in an email to other potential clients and it will help your business grow and so that's very very huge so ask for the testimonial when you're done with the work and you know you did a good job for me you know you did right by the client make sure you ask for a testimonial because they will they will give you one most of the time if you ask for it then the other thing to really keep in mind when you are doing freelancing is to not devalue your services and by that I mean you know make sure you know what makes you comfortable to make money so whether it's making five dollars per article if that means a lot to you or if it's making ten dollars an hour but don't work for one dollar or two dollars an hour um, 
you know, it, unless you, you really have to or unless that, you know, makes you feel comfortable, but it shouldn't. There's no need to starve yourself, um, you know, on a project. So you need to make sure that you do not devalue your services because what happens, and it's easy to do, is that, um, you know, you, you take on a project for a small budget and then you have a client with a bigger budget come along and that bigger budget client will... Um, you know, well, basically they, they're giving you more money, so it's a lot easier to focus on their project because you have more money. And what happens is that smaller client will sit there and it becomes, you know, kind of a almost a nag for you. And so you don't meet the deadline and then they get upset and then they'll say bad things about you maybe. Um, you know, so it's it just not a good situation. So you don't want to devalue your services. So you want to keep your services you know, I'm not saying you you charge a lot for them, um, but you don't want to give in. So you determine what makes you feel comfortable. That's going to be between you know it, that's a decision you have to make. Is okay, what makes me feel comfortable, or or you know I really need the money. Um, you know, but but it's kind of like, you know, if you're only going to make a dollar or two dollars an hour when the project's done, you may as well just. Um, you know, have done the stuff just for yourself, you know, because you would have gotten more, a better return on your investment long term. So, so just don't devalue your services. That's another important consideration um, when you're doing freelancing. A lot of freelancers do that as they get all excited and they say, man, I, I just want to get a project done. And they'll take on maybe a free project or a project for next to nothing. And it's just hard to get motivated to get that project done. So, so try to not devalue your services. And so, again, the important aspects here meet your deadlines keep open communication with your clients while you're doing the work stay focused you know set out focused chunks of time to accomplish the task ask for testimonials when the job is done and do not devalue your services if you apply all these principles um, to the videos we previously showed you on how to find more freelancers freelance jobs and you know once you kind of understand more about freelancing then you are going to have no problem succeeding with freelancing to make money it's a very viable business model and it's a very uh, effective way for you to make money online so um, you definitely want to look into freelancing for an internet income